all the hype of colonizing Mars, what is the actual long-term viability of humans living there? A stable food source is definitely needed since transporting food from Earth is expensive, but growing crops on Martian soil is not as easy like on Earth, the problem being the difference in environmental conditions. Yes, it is possible to grow vegetables in microgravity, but yield is oftentimes negatively affected. In this video, I will be discussing the findings of a paper that has researched the effect of plant-fungi interactions in microgravity conditions. Before we begin, I want to say that I am no means an expert on plant biology, physiology, or space farming. Now with that disclaimer out of the way, I hope you enjoy the video. Growing plants in space for human consumption has two main problems, as presented by the paper, which are a reduction of crop yield in microgravity and nutrients in extraterrestrial soils. The researchers tested the viability of using plant-fungi interactions to stimulate root growth in plants. The specific plant they used in the study was Petunia hybrida, which is a member of the family Solanaceae. In this video, I will be going over three of the four main results of the paper, along with what I found interesting. The first main result of the study found that, in microgravity conditions, it negatively influences beneficial colonization of fungi by limiting root hair elongation and branching. The second finding was that in low nutrient and microgravity conditions, beneficial fungi can still support the plant if the plant produces an excess of a hormone called strigolactone. Strigolactone regulates root and shoot growth and can increase the effectiveness of beneficial fungi colonization. The third finding showed that in high nutrient and microgravity conditions, certain tissues and overall plant size increased. You may be wondering the same thing when I read the paper. How did the researchers simulate microgravity in the lab? To answer this question, the researchers used an apparatus called a clinostat. In a clinostat, a plant is mounted horizontally to negate the effects of Earth's gravity. The plant rotates at a speed of one rotation per minute, and since all sides of the plant are exposed to an equal gravitational pull, it can simulate a zero-gravity environment. The horizontal positioning and constant rotation of a plant is especially important if researchers are to actually simulate a zero-gravity environment. If either the horizontal position or rotation of the plant is imperfect, the exposure or gravitational pull will be unequal. Soils on moons and Mars do not have the same agricultural value as soils of Earth. These extraterrestrial soils are likely to be low in plant available nutrients. This is where the ability of beneficial fungi come into play. If beneficial fungi are able to successfully colonize plant roots, they might be able to extract nutrients from the soil in which plants can then use. I hope this video introduced you to the basic topics of this research paper. Sources can be found in the description below.